Ladies and gentlemen, the executive vice president of all elite wrestling, Nicholas and Matthew Jackson, the Young Bucks. Well, Matthew and Nicholas, they have been looking all night, guys, as we know, for the Stinger. They've been on the hunt for the icon Sting. And this Sunday, Tony, not only do Matthew and Nicholas Jackson have a chance to retire the icon Sting, they also have a chance to become three-time BW World Tag Team Champion. There's no question, regardless of what they have become, egos run amok. And you know what? I've, I've discovered that they're both, they're both got big egos, but nothing like Nicholas. I, that's a horrible No, ego. I mean, they're, they're both, uh, these, these are, uh, I, I talked about how long I knew Eddie Kinks. I've known Matthew and Nicholas almost almost as long, and they're just, oh, look at this now. You know, the, getting this, in the face of these stick fans here at ringside. And, oh, 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 there's a stick fan oh, for you. Darby oh, Allen. Not waiting until Revolution this Sunday, getting the jump on Matthew and Nicholas. Oh, wait, oh watch Matt, out, Matt! Oh, oh, he had, brother, he had Darby anchored. Hey, what the Bucks never expected that. We didn't expect that. I was gonna Darby say Allen. I was gonna say the Bucks were still great tag team wrestlers. They could do it. But where is Sting? I mean, we see Darby now fighting a pitched battle, two on one against Matthew and Nicholas Jackson. Well, we know Darby's fearless. He don't care. He'll throw caution exactly. to the wind at all times. Oh my oh, God, the bat, the bat. Oh. That bat to the midsection doubles over Darby Allen. And now look, look at Matthew. This is, I mean, reminiscent of what they did to Sting's son. Absolutely it is. And that was the last straw for Sting, as we have heard. Oh, now uh, oh, uh, the, the EVP and Matthew, trigger. Yeah. EVP, EVP trigger's coming. Darby. And they nailed it. If they land that, if they land the EVP trigger this Sunday at Revolution, we will have new oh. AEW World Tag Team Champions. Why, why, why a bat to the gut? After the EVP trigger, obviously Darby cannot even get up. And then a bat to the gut by Matthew. Well, Darby is basically the best friend let's of go, Sting. Go, look, look, waving at the, the ramp. Oh, Ric Flair, but we... we we saw that meeting right when he went to the meeting to, to the room of the Bucks. They're calling Ric Flair out. Look at the big smile on his face. Well, you, you heard Ric Flair. Look, how, how egocentric is Ric Flair? You heard from him last week, Tony, saying that he thought he'd be more involved in Sting's remark. Yeah. He thought he thought this would be more about Ric Flair. No, this is about Sting. Of course it is. And I, you know what? I've known Ric Flair my entire wrestling career. Massive ego. He wanted to be the center of attention, and now look at him come out. Thumbs up to the to our EVP. But Shivani, as you know, Ric Flair is also the dirtiest player in the game. Yes, he is. So he obviously did some kind of a Turner Ruski well, I mean, on Darby and Sting. I think maybe maybe Matthew and Nicholas they they convinced the Nature Boy that they can give him the spotlight that he so desperately craves. Oh my God, look at this. Well, Flair loves the money. EVPs have the money. Oh, the foul! Oh, 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 so much for that! Oh no! Oh, no. Wow! Oh no! Well, I guess I thought the flare was gonna. You said it—the dirtiest player. Yeah, in the game. He, he put one over on Matthew and Nicholas. He oh, sure God. did. Oh, Matthew, what are you doing here? Oh, that's a seventy-year-old man. Seventy plus. I mean, just, this, this goes all partial with just how disgusting Matthew and Nicholas have, have, have been acting as of late, attacking a septuagenarian. You, you can't even really call them the young bucks. Yeah. Oh, brother! They're now waiting for Sting to come down the ramp. They're going to meet him with bats in hand. Matthew and Nicholas, they're, they're prepared for it. Yeah, he's walking into a trap here at Sting. Come on, let's go. Oh, my God, look at this. Sting, Sting. Finished by walking into a trap. My God, look at this. The Young Bucks have 
no clue. Oh, 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 and now the realization sets in. In the words of good old JR, business just picked up. Oh, what memories have been coming down, repelling from the top. Oh. And Sting turning the tables on Matt and Nick Jackson, the equalizer. For the Darby, Darby, a coffin drop. What an iconic moment in the short history of AEW Dynamite. Sting descending from the rafters. And listen to this crowd, it has come unglued. Unbelievable. Flair smiling from the corner. will face Matthew and Nicholas Jackson this Sunday, live at Revolution on pay-per-view. They were looking all day for Sting. They needed to look up in the rafters. Well, Sting found them. Sting exploded on the scene right here, live on Dynamite. Oh, what a, what a unbelievable okay. moment, guys. Can't wait for Revolution. And Matthew and Nicholas really Jackson may be rethinking things you, now. Man. Maybe have to come up with a new game plan for Revolution this Sunday when they face Darby Allen and Sting for the AEW World Tag Team Championship in Sting's final professional wrestling match.